you're probably watching this because you're heading towards a children's university graduation. Because all of this year you've been earning some learning credits, you've been visiting loads of places and you've been taking part in lots of activities across the UK. In fact, I probably might have met some of you because I've been working with some children universities down in Kent and we've been making things because I'm an artist and I love making things out of paper and cardboard particularly. But whatever you've been doing to get your learning credits and your passports full, ready for graduation, congratulations. You've worked so hard and it's no mean feat doing all the things that you've been doing for a whole year. And especially given that we've had lockdown. And some of you have even managed to earn some learning credits during lockdown. So that's pretty amazing. But actually, the graduation is going to be a pretty hard thing to do this summer because of lockdown. So your local children's university are going to organise something else and they'll be in touch with you and it will probably happen in the autumn term. But they want you to start getting prepared for it. You may have noticed I'm wearing a mortarboard hat and I've been holding my scroll. And the challenge is this, we want you to make one of these and one of these. So, this is a little tutorial, watch what I do and maybe you'll be inspired and have all the skills ready to make your own. What you need for making the mortarboard and the scroll are some of these materials. You will definitely need some cardboard, you can get old scrapped cardboard to do this and you'll need one big square and you'll need one really long piece of cardboard. You'll also need some tissue paper, the colour that you need to cover your mortarboard in. I used black, but your children's university might have a different colour. You'll also need um, one sheet of white paper and maybe something a little bit shiny. You might need some gold or anything you can get hold of that's rather nice colour there. Um, in terms of tools, it'll be really useful if you have a tape measure, that's for measuring your head. Um, you'll need some ribbon, again you might want to choose a colour that's um, the colour of your children's university colours. You'll need glue, um, I've got PVA glue here, sort of a, a really basic craft glue, or you, if you've got a glue gun that will be really useful, um, or you could use tape if you haven't got a glue gun. You'll also need some wool to make a tassel for your mortarboard, pencil and ruler, and obviously you'll need some scissors in order to cut all little pieces and get it all ready. Right, so we're going to begin, but first of all we need to make sure that we've got all of the cardboard parts that we need. This is my hat. You can see there's a band around the head and then there's one very big square top part of the hat. So you need to find a really strong bit of cardboard and cut it out into a square. Mine is about 12, cent, uh, 12 inches square, so 12 inches that way, 12 inches that way. But you might want to make yours a bit smaller, it depends on the size of your head. So you'll need one big square of cardboard. You will then need a piece of cardboard that can go all the way around your head. So the first thing we need to do is work out how big is your head and this is where your tape measure is going to be really handy. So you might need someone to help you to do this, I'm going to try and do this on my own but you basically need to wrap your tape measure around where you think that your hat is going to sit on your head and I've just held on to the tape measure so I can see what kind of measurement it is so I know I need a piece of cardboard that long in order to go around my head so and make sure you make it a little bit longer so you've got extra just in case so I'm going to go for 25 there 25 to go around my head now I've got some cardboard here you need something about that kind of depth there's no exact measurements on this but you need something around that depth but the length definitely has to be long to go around. oh look at that that's nearly the right length for mine. The problem with this piece of cardboard is it's quite thick 
and it might be a little bit more uncomfortable so I actually found this piece of cardboard which is a lot thinner you might be able to see the difference in the cardboard and I think this might be a better piece of cardboard for my hat I just need to check that it does actually fit I think I can fit the right length so I'm going to cut this so that we can have a separate band for the hat. So, just measured here, it's about four inches, but I've got to allow a little bit extra. So I've drawn a line that is five inches along here. You might have different measurements, but this is just what I'm gonna be doing today to show you. So I've drawn a line and I'm just gonna cut this out. What I didn't mention earlier, which is really important, is that the cardboard lines go this way along, because this is going to help it to bend, which you really need. It's very hard to bend cardboard going against your lines. Can you see it makes really strange shapes? So this is much neater, so make sure that you have your cardboard going the right way with the lines going downwards. So we know that we need this to be 25 inches, so I think I've probably got enough, yeah I've got plenty there. Next I'm going to make some tabs so that we can attach this headband to the square top piece and by doing that I'm just doing a rough pencil mark and I'm going to cut my cardboard with little tabs and they're little triangle tabs like this. And on each tab you just need to fold down each tab So it's going to start looking a bit like that. So um, I've finished cutting out that piece. I've obviously got my square piece that I had earlier, that I cut earlier. So I now have to make sure this definitely fits my head. So I'm just going to place it around my head and just make sure. Sometimes it's really useful having someone help you with this bit but that feels like it fits neatly. You can see the tabs are on the top end of my hat. So I'm holding that in place. Now whilst that's been held in place, I'm just going to glue it into position. I've got a glue gun because it's really easy to use um, for this film and nice and quick. But you could use a bit of tape or a bit of PVA. You might need to hold it if it's um, just craft glue and you might need to put a bit of peg on it and let it dry but that will work really well as well. So it's up to you what you've got in your house or at school that you can use to um, stick this together. Now that's stuck very nicely for me. So you can see I've already got a um, circle made for the headpiece. Let me just double check. Oh yeah that, fit, that feels really secure so that's really good. So the next thing is, all of these bits that we cut and we've tabbed down, if we put a bit of glue on them and stick them this way onto our piece of cardboard, it's all going to get attached like that. Now the, the trick is, you must make sure that your point is pointing a bit like your nose, so it's going to be at the front of your face, so you need to have it on that angle. So I must make sure that I glue it on at the right point. So I'm just going to use a bit of glue. I'm going to be really quick about it. You can take your time doing this. Yep. So I've added some glue there. So I'm just going to try and find the middle point. I might just stand up so I can see above. Right, I'm making sure that's quite in the middle. I'm just going to stick that in that. If you've got a glue that needs a bit of time to set, you could use a piece of 
tape just to hold it in position. You can always peel off the tape just like it is here. So just make sure that it's attached. So you can see now that it's attached to the top with the point at the front. So you may have noticed on this finished one that there's a slight point around the band and it sort of points down here at the middle. So what we need to do is we just need to cut our band a little bit to suit that. So this is the one that I made with the glue gun a minute ago, like so. So I know that this is the front of my hat. So it's going to be the, the deepest part and I'm just going to very carefully just draw my point is going to match this point like that. Hopefully you can see that on the camera and then I'm just going to cut off a little bit all the way around the bottom with my scissors. It doesn't have to be much but just enough to show that point at the front. So scissors and get cutting. So now you can see the point at the front. I've just taken a bit all the way around and just left a point. So you should have a nice shaped mortarboard. So we've made the hat but now we need to make it the colour of, for your graduation. So I made a really um, traditional black mortarboard but you might have a look at your local children's university because they all have different colours. Um, I think in Kent they have a nice purple one so you might want to find purple tissue paper for this bit or paper um, but I'm just going to use black for now for this demonstration. So. You need to make sure that you're going to cover every single surface. You need to do the top, you need to do the band, and you also need to do underneath the square. All right? You don't have to worry about in there because you won't see that bit, but you would see underneath these bits. So the band, under the square, and on top of the square. It's really simple. You just need some black paper or your coloured paper and some PVA glue and you're literally going to glue your entire hat and stick the black paper on. I'm going to start on this one. So to make a tassel, this is um, similar to the one that was on the hat and you can see it's actually quite long and I've made it out of wool. I mean, you can choose the right colour wool for you, but for me, I'm using a traditional black tassel. It's got to be about, well, it's quite a long length, but you need to measure it on your hat, how long you'd like your tassel. I'm going for one that's about the length of this piece of cardboard, and I, this will be really useful when you make your cardboard. So, with my wool, I'm going to just very simply wrap this piece of cardboard with lots of wool. The more wool you use, the bigger the tassel. When you think that you've got the length and the amount of wool you want for your tassel, just going to trim it at the end and you'll also need another piece of wool to tie it all together. Put your wool underneath your piece of cardboard and just knot them all together so that they're not going to fall off. I'm putting a couple of knots in there and see that that's tied up there. So I'm going to just take it off the cardboard. We don't need the cardboard anymore. should have a bundle of wool really which should all be relatively the same length. I'm going to just carefully cut the bottom you can see all of those tassels 
all together like that. Now what I actually did on this one is I just neatened them up with a little bit of wool here. So I'm just going to show you how to do that bit. In fact I'm going to do it with gold so you can see on camera because you might not see the black on black. So let me use some gold and that looks rather nice actually. I should have done that with my other one. So I'm just simply going to wrap the string around the top part of my tassel just to bunch it all together give it a little shape tie it off and then with those bits that you don't really want to see you're just going to chop those off there we go so you should have a rather nice tassel there you can always neaten up the bottom if it's a little bit uneven like mine. So you've got a lovely tassel there. It's all tied up to give it this nice little shape. And you've also got this little bit of string at the top so that we can attach it to your hat. So my hat's now dried, it's been covered with tissue paper and it's entirely dry and I've made my tassel and I just need to attach this to the board. Now we left a little um, length of thread on your tassel for a reason because this can then be threaded through a little hole. Now look, I've made a little hole in my board, it's sort of the middle point of my mortar board. You could use a pencil. I had a pokey stabby thing so I was able to make a hole but pencil works just as well. So very carefully you need to thread through, I use my pencil to thread through that thread so on the other side can you see it's coming through I can then pull that piece of thread through. Now you could tie a knot that always helps but actually I find tape works really well at this point. So I'm just going to cut off a bit of the excess because we don't need all of that. And I've just got a bit of tape here that's really sticky. And I'm going to make sure that that tassel won't fall off. So I'm just going to tape in the thread into the hat. So hopefully you'll see that it's really nice. It's got that nice gold trim. And there we have it, we've got a hat with a tassel. So the last part that you need to prepare is your graduation scroll. Now this is a fake one, it's not really your certificate. But we can make these and they look rather nice. I've used the purple of Kent Children's University colour, but you could use any colour ribbon that you can find. So, you need the piece of paper that looks like a certificate but it isn't really a certificate. I roll this up simply with my hands and then if you've got an elastic band or a hair band or something that's quite useful at this stage. I mean you can hold it but it is really useful just to hold that in place. So I've just taped a uh, band, use the band to keep it together. And then I've got some ribbon so I need a little length of ribbon And we're simply going to tie up our scroll with the ribbon. Okay. When um, I did my one here, I just very carefully cut the ribbon so it had a nice edge to it. So I'm just going to do the same for this bit. I'm going to fold it in half and give it a little snip. One. See that? I can take that band off now, I don't need that, but that just was really handy for keeping it in place. So we need a seal and these are normally, the, they would have traditionally been made out of like a wax that they would burn on and press onto the, the certificate to hold it in place. I haven't got wax, but I have got paper and cardboard and I've got, I happen to find some really nice shiny paper, gold and glittery gold. It's up to you what you can find. You need a little scrap of cardboard. I found that was really useful. And then you're going to stick 
some of this onto your cardboard. So I'm just going to cut a little bit of this cardboard, of uh, this gold. I'm going to use my glue gun, but you could use any glue that you've got to hand. I'm just going to stick that down there. Now, you've now got some strong gold cardboard because you've stuck it together. I'm just going to cut a seal out and it depends on what you'd like to do. You could do a flowery shape, you could do a circle shape, it's up to you. I'm just going to quickly cut this out. So I simply have to glue that on. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my glue gun. You could use some sticky tape if you haven't got strong enough glue and just stick that on and you have got your graduation scroll with ribbon and seal. Hope you've been inspired to make a mortarboard and a scroll ready for your local children's university graduation. If you really like making things with either your school or at home with your family or even just on your own, you need to check out www.artbuilders.co.uk. There are loads of things that you can be making and doing this summer and it's all free. So, from me to you, happy graduation.